Hi, good afternoon. I hope everyone can uh, can hear me and can see the slides. Um, so my name is Patricia Lara and I work in the in the Hartman Group. And I'm here to give you a presentation on how the identity management uh, can help the transformation, the digital transformation. So uh, the road for uh, identity management uh, or the role in of identity management in this uh, in this path. I'm having some information that you cannot see me. Uh, so let me see. Can you see me now? Ivan, Marjorie can. Uh... How are you? No, we don't see you, Patricia. Uh, we yeah, see you. That is strange. We don't see your. We don't see you. <laughs> okay. Um, my camera. Where do I have the setting? All visible. So I think we are good. If you just talk, we can hear you and we can see your slides. Okay. So I'll so just. I think we are continue. good to go. Yes. Okay. Right, right. okay, sorry about that. Uh, I think my camera was working, so I don't understand why it's not working now. But anyway, I'll continue with the presentation. Um, so just to give you a bit of introduction of Hartman, uh, we are a health company and we are um, a we have offices in more than 30 countries around the world, and our products are actually available in more than uh, 100 countries. So Hartman is a leading international manufacturer of medical and hygiene products. We have uh, um, around 12,000 employees uh, worldwide and the generated sales of 2.12 billion. So a bit of introduction on the main divisions of Hartman. Uh, so in the incontinence, we produce the secure skin-friendly products. Uh, our range is sufficient wide for uh, something for everyone. So for the elderly, for the, the people just needing some uh, temporary uh, incontinence um, support. And then we have our area of the risk prevention. And uh, this is uh, high quality product solutions combined sets and media sets and they are prevalent designed for the operating theaters, although they are also used in the words uh, and they use in every phase of the patient treatments. The wound management area uh, that is related to the easy to use and cost-effective products uh, from the traditional comrades and benches to the more, more modern wound care offerings such as uh, hydrotherapy. And then the disinfection area, which I think is quite popular at this moment, and Hartman, uh, we offer the hand surface and instrument disinfection and cleaning uh, antiseptics. This includes the sterilium, which is, I think, the most common used um, hydrogel uh, disinfected brand. And, um, and uh, we use our own research to develop these disinfectants, which are safe and effect effective, and they are um, compliant with the, the regulations. In Hartman, we want to go further for help. So we want the e-health. We would like to combine the e-health with our technology to improve and reach our customers. So the connectivity is our main conductor. Uh, the customers are increasingly expecting the same digital experience in all aspects of their life, so even in the healthcare. Uh, so it's important to empower the consumers uh, to manage their own health. Uh, so the consumers would be happy to have their health data accessible through their smartphone, device, and online, uh, exactly as they access any other any other product or service. So, and this is uh, exactly our our conduct and our goal uh, to go further for the e-health and not only going further for health. One of the processes that uh, we are looking at is the supply chain. So one of our main customers are hospitals and care facilities. And there's a huge process cost associated with the supply chain. So for example, to order a single medical pro pro product, the approximate cost is around $100. And around 60% of these uh, orders are processed manually. So this creates a huge process cost. So the solution we present for this is the smart logistics and fulfillment uh, using the IUT and the AA technologies. 
So combining data from the population, uh, combining the data from the weather and the epidemic, uh, we can predict the need of these products. So we have around 7,000 sensor boxes installed in healthcare facilities that improve the process by the stock control, automatic replenishment and replenishment and real-time traceability. So if a product is removed from one of these shelves, uh, it's registered and reaching a predefined level and based on the AI technology, it can start the ordering process. This leads, of course, to uh, cost efficiency by reduction of the process of ordering and uh, optimizing the supply chain and manufacturing process and improvements of the forecast and quality. So with this example, we have implemented the technology in innovation. This means that applying the new technology to the current business process or way of doing it. So this means that we have created accounts for access to the supply portal, where the customer's external accounts is managed by the our currently internal IT, and then exported to the customer consumer's portal to enable the access. Uh, the account management, as I was saying, is done manually and is normally triggered by a support ticket or by a request from our sales team. So it's a lot of steps by then my Hartman, but just to have the account ready to use. What this uh, brings with a quick solution that solves the problem with the technology, maintaining the old way of doing things. So this was us, our first step uh, to be able to give them access in a fast way. Uh, so with, with this, we get the quick results with the long-term stagnation. In our path to the digital transformation, I believe actually that uh, the path to it is the technology innovation. That's the first step. It's not a blocker. So you can have uh, a technology innovation and then this can lead you actually to the digital transformation. So with the first one, you get the quick implementation and the fast implementation. And then you have more time to implement a solution that will require more time, but leads to a long-term benefit. Uh, so that's why I believe they complement each other. In our road to the digital transformation in this example, the next step then is to have the external accounts created by the externals themselves. And not only creating the account, but also managing this account. Uh, so this will lead to less manual tasks being done by the IT, uh, but will lead to uh, a faster way of doing the things in a new way. So with this account management done by then, any customer that includes modifications or permissions can be done directly in the portal accessed by the customer itself. So they request the account and they manage their own accounts. And we just have the monitoring and the, and the confirmation and the authorizations behind. Uh, so in this way, we are applying a new technology to the way of doing business. We have slower results, of course, but then we have the long-term benefits and uh, more satisfied customers. So in this part from YAM, so identity management, uh, to the customer identity management, we want to go further in a path to innovate. So the rules of the external identity types cannot be defined in the same terms as the internal roles, because these internal roles depend on the data owned by the organization under the employment and contract and job definitions. And the the customer identities, it has to be a more flexible and distributed approach. It's necessary to consider other ways to manage the external identity. And one of them is of course the self-service. So this portal that they can access uh, their own. The third party registration. So allowing that the registration is done by them or even using the social media to allow to integrate this registration. And the lightweight in authentication and federation services. So. We want the externals to manage their accounts, but we want it to be safe. And we want the authentication and the federation services in place to make sure that the accounts are uh, approved and they access exactly only what they need. The benefits of uh, doing this customer identity access management is that you get an overview, so a 360 view of your customers by centralizing the user data from the different applications. 
by giving the access to the customers, you are allowing them to create the accounts. So you reduce the actually the work you have in an IT, but you improve the data that you have from the different applications. So instead of siloed data, this lead, that leads to missed opportunities and upsells, you have all together in a centralized user data. The self-service portal, with tailored access to the customer, can provide a better user experience for the customer that expects an easy to use in addition to the security. So they know that they're gonna have some security steps to go to, but it needs to be easy. And you can't use the same customer portal to all customers uh, because you need to actually um, provide a user that it's tailored to that customer. So exactly to the needs. So for example, in this case, we need to uh, make it easy to find exactly the products that they need or just confirm the orders that they need from the from the sensor boxes. Uh, and for example, tomorrow, if we're going to uh, another uh, service of the e-health, uh, where we're allowing people to actually monitor their health or with advices, you need to have a completely different overview with Taylor because the customer is going to be completely different and the needs are going to be completely different. So you actually need to tailor this access depending on the customer that you have. So with this in mind, the customer identity access manager, the focus has to be the customer. So design it, designing it with the customer at the focus and enabling the self-service. Uh, when you enable the customers to manage their own accounts, uh, they get the sense of more control uh, because they can manage exactly who needs access. And it's when you get to a certain level, it's quite difficult then uh, to uh, to manage the whole accounts because uh, the customer exactly who needs access today, who needs access tomorrow, who's starting today, who's starting tomorrow. Uh, when you don't have an automated system uh, like the internal resource where you normally have the HR doing that, it's quite difficult to do a self-management. So who better than your own customers to manage their own accounts? Uh, normally, this can be done by giving access to one person, for example, you can actually have the approval process behind every customer, or you can have a customer responsible for their own uh, uh, account. One of the major uh, concerns of uh, doing this is of course the protection and the security behind it. What we do is that we use the two-factor and multi-factor authentication and the OAuth 2 authorization framework to ensure the security and access to our data. And the way we do uh, the transfer of data is exactly then connecting uh, direct connections with the APIs. So when you do this with, through the APIs, you can get a faster, a faster response uh, exactly of what you need between each application. So you can connect uh, whatever application with our internal identity and access management that it's configured and has all the security, but you're still giving access to all the customers uh, that actually uh, are managing their own accounts. So with the APIs, you can split the part uh, where you have the, the management, the, so let's say the first layer of manager of the accounts with actually the engine that is behind, that it's the access management tool that you all are already have. So this is just to give you a bit of an overview of how to use the identity. And uh, in this case, the normal concept of identity access management, but in this case, face to customers and with the use of the APIs that allows you to do uh, this connection between uh, or having different layers between what is the customer portal and then your own identity access management behind. So this is my presentation. So if you have any questions, I'm going to leave now the stage uh, for some, uh, some questions um, that you might have. Don't know if you have any questions. As my Aunt Marge is saying, we have at 3.20 to um, a question and um, a QA session. Uh, thank you, Patricia, for the great talk. This is a very important topic to allow the customers to do their own self-service for the identities. I have a question for you. Um, was it easy to get the idea of the self-service for identity management uh, moving forward in, in your organization?
Hello? Hello, now we can see you. Ah, now you can see me. Okay, and you can hear me okay? Yes, we can hear you too. Okay, finally. <laughs> okay, sorry, can you repeat the question? Um, was it easy to, to bring forward the self-service for customer identity management in your organization? Because this is almost like a revolutional idea yes. of managing identities. No, it's it's not. It's never easy to make this step because, in the end, as you were saying, you are giving uh, the control to the customers, and it's always people are always afraid of, right? Uh, but when you see the benefits and how easy it is to manage, then you see the benefits of it, and then it's easier. Uh, so we started uh, in uh, in Spain because we already had the sensor box here, and uh, they were open to change and. Uh, as soon as they saw the benefits and what you gain of giving you this access without losing the control, so we were able to 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 show that um, that you still have the security behind. They're not access any data that they shouldn't be accessed. Uh, with the APIs, you connect to a portal and then they connect exactly to the applications that they need, and. This showed the benefit because they have easier and faster access because they're managing their own accounts. They don't have to wait for the actually IT team to be behind to create these accounts. They can manage. They, it's an automatically workflow approval behind. And for them, it's transparent. So it's easy access when they need it. Uh, and of course, with that, we can we get then the benefits of having this automated process and faster accesses to our tools. So, when you have a very large organization, would you suggest to take one country or one domain at a time and get um, the quick wins? It depends actually on on, uh, on the products that you have and um, the culture of your own organization. Uh, I think that um, you should always start with pilots, which you always start with small populations, but having in consideration that the population that you're going to, uh, what's their acceptance? Uh, how willing are they to test it? Uh, what is their resistance to change? We do know that maybe some cultures or some cultures will uh, resist it more. And we have uh, some countries or cultures that will resist it less. So I guess it depends a bit on the business and depends a bit on the culture of your own organization. Um, but it's, I always suggest, yes, that definitely starting with the pilots, starting with, as you were saying, uh, AD person or starting with uh, a country itself. So you can start, for example, by an area, depending on what exactly what you're doing. Let's say you can start with marketing area or you can start with the sales area instead of going with all at once. If, for example, if, the, if you don't have that large population in countries that can give you uh, a significant uh, pilot, so to say, because you need the results of this pilot, so then you can move forward. So I guess it depends, but uh, you can either go by country or by departments or by AD, but definitely always go with a pilot first. Uh, have you seen similar approach in other organizations because to me, this is very, very unique and really recommended approach for managing identities. Um, actually, I did heard about it, but uh, so having talks with my with my team, uh, we came up with the idea of um, of how can we improve the process and can have faster. Uh, access without actually um, losing the control, right, and increasing our work. So you can say that it's a lazy approach because we're trying to make it uh, better with the same resources. Uh, but that's how the idea came out. I believe that are some companies already going to this approach to or having the customers managing their own, their own identities. Um, but so the the conversation came between my team discussing about it. So thank you. This was really great talk, and thank and you. We will also have a Q and A session in in about half in thirty minutes. Okay. Yes. And now we will 